We're outside the shiny, and I mean shiny, new Titanic Belfast Visitor Experience. They're letting us have a first look around the building before the doors officially open to the world. Lucky for you, we've brought a camera with us. So let's get snooping. First port of call is booming Belfast. We're being taken back in time to 100 years ago. The city was very industrial back then, with linen, rope making, and of course shipbuilding employing lots of people. Ooh, look at this, an interactive blueprint of the Titanic that you can jump into. Whoa, now I'm standing in what must be the world's largest shadow. I may well be right, as this was apparently the world's largest crane, the Aral Gantry, which was used to build the Titanic. There's even an elevator inside the crane. They seem to have put a fairground right in the shipyard. I'm guessing this wasn't typical in 1912. Let's go! Well, that was an experience for the senses. I could actually smell the steel, see the metal burning and hear all the clanging and banging of the shipyard. Ah, here's the daylight. These big windows look right out onto the actual slipway that launched the Titanic. Did you know that when the ship was launched, it was the largest man-made object ever moved? Considering that, I know I shouldn't be surprised that it's big. But I gotta say, it really is. We're back to exploring and now we're inside the ship. Here's a first-class cabin. Very fancy. And here's the lesser known second and third class cabins. Even these had a touch of luxury back then with running water. Now the building's just showing off. Look at this virtual tour. I'm just standing here in the middle of the room and this magic cave is bringing me through the ship's levels. Wow. I love these old photographs. They're originals from the maiden voyage. The atmosphere has changed now. I'm being taken back to the fateful night of the sinking. Even the air in here has gone colder now. Let's just take it all in. And here's a full list of all Titanic's passengers and crew. I wonder if any of my relatives were on board. Look at all these Titanic movies. Where is Kate and Leo? I'm king of the world! Okay, hold your breath, we're going under. We're being brought two and a half miles below sea level to the Titanic's final resting place. And that's not all. Below the theatre is their ocean exploration station. Well, that's it. We're finished our exclusive tour of Titanic Belfast. That was an incredible experience. Hope you enjoyed it. 